Hello everyone! Halloween is just around the corner. This was my last minute costume a couple of years ago, and can you believe I actually scared a lot of people? <laughs> my costume this year requires a guitar, so today I'm going to go over the process of how I created my cosplay guitar. But before I get into it, I want to share with you all something very cool. This was gifted to me by Kylan of Antelope, California. She is clearly a very, very talented artist. These lines are on point and the artistry is just absolutely amazing. This also glows in the dark. I love things that glow in the dark. Thank you for this, Kylan. You are amazing. I'm gonna hang this on my wall. My objective is to make a guitar that costs less than $10, that won't take more than 10 hours to make, that does not look too cheap and is durable, and I need it to fit into a 20 inch by 12 inch suitcase. Kicking things off, I cut my guitar body and head out of EVA foam. I freehand drew the guitar body, I liked looking at a picture, then I cut it out using an X-Acto knife. Usually I use a box cutter, but I couldn't find mine. Then I did the same with the guitar head, making minor tweaks for my own liking. My next step is to smooth out the edges using my Dremel tool. I follow the sanding rules of low grit to higher grit to ensure I get a smooth edge. Next up, I seal it up with Plasti Dip. Plasti Dip is actually used for cars like to color the rims, but it works very well for sealing EVA foam. Then comes the spray paint when the sealing is finished. Next up, I chop up wood for the guitar neck. I looked at a picture and eyeballed how long the neck should be. Then I sand down the edges and the surface to prepare it for painting. Priming isn't truly necessary, but for a good even finish, everything should be primed first before painting. Next, I 3D printed bridges, pickups, frets, and string adjusters. Then sanded them down and spray painted them. Once everything was dry, I Gorilla glued my pieces on. Then for the strap, I just cut out a piece of fabric and quickly sewed it. To make my guitar easy to disassemble and put it in my suitcase, I created a string loop mechanism. I glued strings to the back of the guitar neck like so, then I drilled holes to where the strings need to loop through to assemble the guitar. Ta-da! My guitar is complete. But wait a minute, it needs a little something extra. Since I will be in the dark mostly, the guitar should bling. So I added an LED light on the strap. All right, so it took me about 10 hours to make this, $9 in material, and the quality of this, it's decent enough. And most importantly, I can break this down to put in my suitcase. I would say overall, mission accomplished. Have you figured out what I'm going to be for Halloween? If so, shoot me a message and if you are correct, I will send you a big ass frame. Check in on Halloween as I will be revealing my full costume. Thank you for watching and as always, you kidding or are you for real?